In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a maintenance dose of the phosphate remover to cure yellow or mustard algae in your pool. And I discovered this method just by experimenting with a pool that has the mustard algae that just wouldn't go away. And the chlorine level was dropping to zero every week in that pool. And if you have a pool that's not holding chlorine, and even if the phosphate levels are at 100 or below, the phosphory phosphate remover will really help control the algae in the pool and help the chlorine level stay high. When you do the full phosphate treatment, basically what the phosphate remover does is remove the food for the algae, so the algae can't grow since the food source has been eliminated. So this pretty much makes sense in a pool that has stubborn mustard algae. You're trying to get rid of it, and you use the maintenance dose of the phosphate remover. It will take away the food source for the algae and thereby kill it. So typically in my area, we don't have a lot of pools with very high phosphate levels. And of course, if the phosphate levels are high in your pool, you want to do the full phosphate treatment for the pool. And if you do pool service, Natural Chemistry makes Phosphate Remove. This is a Pro Series version of their phosphate remover. This is designed for phosphate levels of 1,000 parts per billion or higher. And the Phosphate Remove is a highly concentrated version of their phosphate remover. You can see that the maintenance dose here is only 1 ounce for 6,000 gallons. And of course, if you do have high phosphate levels, you want to do the full phosphate treatment as per the directions on the back of the Phosfree or the Phosremove product. You can easily test the phosphate level in your pool with a test strip like this InstaTest right here. And it also helps this process if your pool water is balanced. So you want to make sure that the free chlorine, pH, total alkalinity, and cyanuric acid are within range. And again, you're not doing the full phosphate treatment in the pool that has some stubborn algae in it and also in a pool that's not holding chlorine. I'm just going to use the maintenance dose of the phosphory. So I put in two capfuls every week for about two or three weeks. After the first week, you'll see a significant jump in the chlorine level, and also most of the algae will be eliminated. It's always a good idea to start with a clean filter when you're doing the maintenance dose of the phosphate remover to remove algae from your pool. If your filter's been cleaned in the last month or so, you should be fine. If your filter hasn't been cleaned in a couple months, Go ahead and backwash the filter if it's a DE or sand filter. If it's a cartridge filter, go ahead and take it apart and clean it. And then start the maintenance dose treatment of the phosphate remover. So here's one of my service accounts that gets some persistent yellow algae in the spa area of the pool. It's due to poor circulation. The design of the pool isn't the greatest. There's not a lot of water going to the spa during the week when the pool is in pool mode running. And so algae tends to develop in the spa area here. So you want to go ahead and brush any visible algae like you normally would do and then you would apply the phosphory treatment directly into the skimmer. Now you want to turn your pool pump on and let it run for six to eight hours or longer to make sure that the phosphate remover circulates through the filter into the pool. And I like having the chlorine level at three parts per million or higher when I'm doing the maintenance dose of the phosphate treatment for algae. If it's lower than 3.0, go ahead and add some liquid chlorine to bring the chlorine level up in your pool. I'm going to go ahead and add the maintenance dose here. And again, you want to shake the phosphate free up before you pour it into the skimmer. And here's the dosage that I've been using on my service accounts that have the algae problem. You can see that it's not a lot of the phosphate free product that you're adding. And again, I find that it just takes one or two weeks of this dosage to eliminate the algae in the pool. So that's a look at using the phosphate remover to remove stubborn algae in your pool and to also enhance the chlorine level in your pool. And again, this is not what the product is designed for, but I find it to be highly effective in eliminating stubborn algae and also boosting the chlorine level in the pool. Inyopools.com is a proud sponsor of swimming pool tips and have been helping pool owners find the right pool parts since 2001. With over 50,000 pool parts in stock, order online today and have your parts delivered right to your door.